Hi, my name is Tanya and I'm a dietitian. Today I'm going to share with you one of our Malaysian favorite traditional recipe, which is the butterfly pea nasi lemak. So before we start that, let me introduce to you one of our newly launched Panasonic rice cooker, which is the IH low sugar rice cooker. It comes with 11 different functions and one of it is the healthy low sugar function which we're going to use today. So what is this healthy low sugar function is all about? This low sugar function is tailored to the needs of some of the population out there who would like to make something that is a lower carbohydrate diet or someone with an elderly or expectant mother to want to have a lower carbohydrate needs. Alright, are you ready? Let's start. So first up, we're going to have a look inside the rice cooker. It has a food grade stainless steel rice basket, steam basket. And this steam basket, um, we will use it for the rice later. First of all, we are going to use the butterfly pea flour. This butterfly pea flour contains ternatins. It is a very powerful antioxidant. And then we're going to put back the stainless steel steam basket. And next up, we're going to pour in the white rice. So we're keeping it traditional by using white rice. Make sure you rinse the rice first. Alright, right, next we're going to pour the water in. And this water, make sure that we pour up to the level 2 cups as indicated here. You may need to pour more than you need to because there's some space under the steam basket. Alright. Let's give it a little stir. Okay. Next, we're going to add in the other ingredients. So, the pandan leaves is going to give it its fragrance for the nasi lemak. And then, crushed ginger, about 20 grams of it. Ginger, it contains a substance called ginger oil. And what it does is it's a very powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory um, ingredients as well. If you're nauseous or have any osteoarthritis, this is something that will help you. And we'll add in some salt, one teaspoon. It's not a lot, but for those with hypertension, you may want to omit this ingredient. Alright, so after you've added all the ingredients, all you have to do is to just close it. Click start one time. This is the first function, the healthy low sugar function. And then we click start again. And this will be ready in 40 minutes. Alright, now we're all done. Let's see what we have. Ooh, smells really good. And oh my goodness, look at the color. Beautiful blue color. These are called the anthocyanins or the ternatins. The antioxidant that I was talking about gives you the benefit of good nervous system health, heart health, and also helps to stabilize blood glucose. And you can see that the blue color in here, and we will take the spatula to show you a little bit the outcome of the starch, the accumulated starch. You can see that it's a little bit cloudy. That is the starch that has leached out. Alright, so the starch in the rice has actually been filtered out at the bottom. And if you look at the water, it's actually a little bit cloudy. So you know that the starch is already filtered out from the rice. Alright, now I'm just going to close the rice cooker so that it wouldn't get all the smoke everywhere. And I'm going to take out all these beautiful condiments before we are going to toss it. Alright, so now we're going to transfer this rice from the steam basket into the bigger bowl and we're going to toss it. So this rice, from using this Panasonic IH low sugar rice cooker, 
reduces the carbohydrate amount up to 35%. So we know that the normal rice, from normal white rice, it can have the same amount of carbohydrate as brown rice. So for those who want to reduce the carb amount in their diet, yeah, this is a great way to reduce it while retain the normal juicy, fragrant white rice that you can have. Because some people don't like the texture of brown rice. So by using this rice cooker, we can keep it as traditional and remain the texture as well. Okay. Ooh. Smells really good and I can't wait to eat it. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna toss in the coconut oil. Coconut oil is higher in medium chain triglyceride and it has some antioxidant as well. Okay, we're done tossing. Now we're gonna add some condiments to our healthy nasi lemak. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with my healthier version of the nasi lemak. As you can see, the blue coloured uh, butterfly pea rice here is paired up with several condiments. It won't be nasi lemak without the sambal, peanuts and also ikan bele. So nasi lemak is a very versatile recipe. You can actually add more or less of different type of condiments. So if I want more chicken breast here, we have it with a turmeric pan fry. And turmeric is also high in antioxidant called curcumin. And you can also pair up with some vegetables, not just your typical cucumber. Also I have here tomatoes. So you can add more to increase the fibre. So every bite of this nasi lemak, I know that it's packed with antioxidant and definitely very, very delicious. So enjoy!